Hello. To begin this episode we will go over some key advice for early level leveling. Eat food, you are able to eat two of the same food to gain a 60 minutes cool down. Food will grant you a 3% experience bonus. So ensure you eat food whenever you are doing your hunting log, fates, or dungeons. One your hunting log will be your first source of experience. By eliminating a certain number of enemies, and a bigger boost once that page of the hunting log is complete. You can access your hunting log by going to menu, log, hunting log. You can hover over the desired enemy to see their location, and a symbol will show above the heads of any enemies that are part of your hunting log. To join in fates. These generate outside of towns and are indicated by the purple circle on the map. Once completed will grant experience and gil. Fates have different tiers, the faster they are completed the bigger bonus you receive. Note, fates level sync you to their level so don't hesitate to join one. Three side quests vary and are good at low levels. You will receive experience, skill, and even some helpful items or gear. Still in Limsa, are ye, Mama? I'll ye fancy a trip outside the city walls. I'd like ye to visit an orchard by the name O Summerford Farms. Ever eared o the place? The owner, Stalewern, is an old mate o mine. He's got himself a crew o mostly reformed pirate types, if ye can believe that, and has been trying to bring a bit o life back to the fields after the calamity ruined the soil. He mentioned need in another and or two, and your name sprang to mind. I gave ye a glow in recommendation. So make sure ye work hard and impress the old bastard. Ye need directions. The place ain't hard to find, just take the Zephyr gate out o the city, and follow the road northeast. Mama. You approach me with the marauder's strides, determined, unswerving, and bereft of the hesitation that marked our first meeting. I am pleased. The time has come for you to begin a new stage in your training. Now, 
What sets the axe aside from the gladius or the dagger? It is the raw, unstoppable destruction wrought by its thick, heavy blade. And that overwhelming power can only be properly directed by extraordinary physical strength. Thus we come to the core of this day's lesson. Such strength as a marauder must possess is developed through a traditional method passed down through the generations of the guild. A method that you, too, shall be taught to employ. Present yourself to Brnbar in the practice area downstairs, and he shall instruct you further. The Axie Master told me yet be on your way. Me name's Brnbar. Good it is to meet a new marauder. Now, we Axe Wielders build strength and control by split in boulders. That's right our traditional method involves smashing a rock with your axe. But ya can't use just any ol' swing, ya need to hit the rock just so. Rock game, a fellow marauder, is waiting just outside the Zephyr Gate, by the bridge over the Rogue River. She'll tell ya how it's done. Greetings, lass. Ready to split some stone, are ya? I've three nice, hard rocks for ya to build up a sweat on. Don't try nothing fancy now, just hit em with a good, solid, heavy swing. That's the way to do it, lass. Now ye be got the idea, why don't ye have a am a little harder with that heavy swing all years? Hold nothing back. I, I can see your natural. Me head still ringin' with the sound o crackin' boulders. Take yourself back to Axie Master Wernzoen and let him know you're ready for something harder.
you must be the adventurer Baderan promised to send along. Mama Foxy, wasn't it? You honored his word, so that's a good start. I'm Stalewern, the old bastard, as Baderan likely described me, and this here is my humble orchard. A good number of the lads and lasses work in here once terrorized the high seas. And if you're wondering why I employ these scrags, well, they used to crew my pirate ship. But the calamity did for our ship, like it did so many others, and I was sore wounded into the bargain. I had to feed myself and my crew somehow, and Admiral Merlewibe's initiative to get us landlocked buccaneers work in the field seemed too fine an offer to refuse. It turns out you can take the pirate away from the sea, but you can't take the sea away from the pirate. A lot of my blokes just never took to tend in the soil, you see. And unfortunately, the botanists I called in to train them have been wringing their hands in black despair. With so much work piling up, I need a tougher soul like you to step in and help where it's needed. I've a mind to set you a task, Foxy, but before I do, I need to be sure you're properly kit out. Pirates don't care to parley with dandies, you understand. It might well be that the ones here have traded in their cutlasses for colders, but they're still rogues at heart. I know a solid set of gear when I see it. Come back when you think you're more suitably equipped. can't even rely on those rotten pirates to pick these ripe oranges. Yet if I leave them a day longer, they're like to fall from the bows. Mayhap you can grab a few for me. You're not afraid of a pesky hornet or two, are you? Summerford Farms bears the charge of the Admiral Settlement Initiative. We're rewarded handsomely to brave new frontiers. Yet if we fail to fulfill our part of the bargain, the grant will be withdrawn. In spite of this, the washed-up pirates elect to laze their days away. There is still time. We need only clear away the rocks and debris for the area to be deemed settled. If you are willing to help, you will find a shovel outside that hut on the hillside.
You've certainly proven you are not one to let obstacles stand in your path. If only these supposedly pioneering pirates were half as industrious as you. Expanding borders is all well and good, but the Admiral ought to know rugged frontiers can't be settled by layabouts. H, right to perfection. How sweet it is. If that lackadaisical lot of retired pirates comes down with scurvy, it serve them right? It just goes to show you can't teach an old sea dog new tricks. You'd think the Admiral would know that. Lanasian orange nectar is sweet, but rest assured it's paid for in sweat. We have to pollinate each orange by hand because of the blasted pucks that prey on the nearby bees. If we could only eradicate some five puck hatchlings, it would save us from having to do nature's work. buzz on the wind tells me you've done a deed. The only pests plague in my orchard are those woeful whelps out of water. If only you could rid me of the parasitic pirates as you did the pesky pucks. As the training loosened your muscles and focused your mind, Mama, an urgent request for help has arrived from the Red Rooster's Den, and I have chosen you to respond. It appears a hostile group of megalocraps has unwittingly elected itself the next test of your prowess. As this is your first outing on official marauder duty, you shall be accompanied by a veteran conjurer by the name of Soquad. She awaits you on the floor below. May devastation follow in your wake.
I, Mama, I know who you are. My brother often has me escort his fledgling marauders on their more dangerous tasks. I suppose Wernzoen expects me to give you the details, then? Very well. It seems the farmers need us to clear out a megalo crab nest near the Morning Widow in Lower Lana Sea. I shall trust you to find your own way there just don't forget your axe. Looks as if nobody's home. Mayhap they knew we were coming? Aid. I need aid. Please, it's my grandson. Them snippers be got I'm. I told Sired not to get too close. I told I'm. Get that weapon ready, Mama. We need to move. Now. Bugger and Jai. Get away from me, ye bloody great bastard.
Thank you, miss. I thought I was dead for sure. I can't even play outside no more, what with all these scary monsters about. Mima and Mita, they was both killed by some nasty bugger not so long ago in our rocks, big as a mountain. But I bet you could beat it. I, make it pay for what it did to me folks. You take it easy now, son there's a whole guild full of strapping lads and lasses like mama here who'll be glad to do just that. All you need to do is head home with your grandpa. You let us worry about that big nasty bugger. Consider- Your first duty a success, mama. It's time you headed back as well, before Wernzo and begins to worry I've left your corpse for the crabs. So, you have shattered the shells of the megalocraps and saved the life of a child into the bargain. Thus does our violent crap prove its merit. Well done, Mama. Though no longer a threat to the farmers, you should know that it is unusual for such crabs to be found so near the stead. By all accounts, the creatures were ousted from their usual feeding grounds by a more fierce beast. The beast of which I speak is a known terror in the lands of Lanasi, ever seeking to expand its territory. and that boy's parents were but two of the many victims to fall to its rampages. It is a threat that must be dealt with ere long. Do thoughts of vengeance flit through your mind, Mama? Nurture those urges, but do not yet act upon them as monstrosity is far beyond your present skills. If you would answer the lad's cry for revenge, then you must grow stronger. Become the raging behemoth this challenge demands. Let's have a look at you, shall we? Oh ho. As long as you're this well covered, I won't feel any guilt throwing you to the sharks. Erstwhile buccaneers are an ornery lot. They rage in love for the sea, and care little for the laws of the land. But they respect strength, and by the looks of you, I'd say you'll have little trouble getting their attention. <laughs> 